Hey guys, it's Antis, and we're back in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do an unlimited money glitch. And the first thing you need to do is turn your autosave off, like I'm doing here. Um, we're going to need to make a normal save here, and a hard save in a second. I've seen this all over online, but people keep clipping it. And uh, I want to show you guys how to do it 100% legit, without any issues whatsoever. Um, so we need to go to uh, Limpany here. It's just the north of the Flackneck station there. It's just this little burnt down village here. Once we get there, you're going to want to run forward and go up into the uh, sheriff station. So let's go ahead and go up there. Now inside this, around the back corner there, is a little loot box with a gold bar and uh, a horse stimulator pamphlet. Do not mess with that pamphlet. Only interact with the gold bar or you will mess up this glitch. So go ahead and open up that loot box. See the, there's the, the pamphlet there. You do not want that turn so you get that gold bar. Now hold down X to take that bar and when you bend over, press start. Okay, and once you've pressed start, you're going to go into story mode, or story there, hit new, save game, hit uh, empty slot, hit yes to confirm that, and then you're going to want to go ahead and, uh, and hit back and just go to load game. Make sure you pay attention to the time, just in case your autosave was a little too close. Uh, my saves here were pretty close together. So go ahead and hit yes, so you want to load that back up. You're going to randomly load somewhere... Um, that will be by the town. I was actually a little bit far away, so I had to bolt it back. So let me bolt it all the way back, and then I'll show you guys what to do. Alright, so now that we're back over here, you're going to just walk around the counter. You're going to see the gold bar. Hit X to take it, and just hold it down. Don't let it go. And it will just keep pulling bars up to 30 bars because that is the maximum amount of bars that you can hold at one time, unfortunately. Um, I want you guys to see, you know, that this is 100% legit and doable. So I am also going to ride all the way to the nearest fence and sell these. Um, I'm going to fast forward the ride because... I messed around a lot, and I definitely ran into a bunch of stuff with my horse like an idiot, as well as um, when I went to the fence, there was a mission there, and so I had to do the mission in order to get the fence to show up. So a little bit of a bonus, if you're wondering how to see the lion and kill the lion for the lion's paw, if you're into the trinkets, um, that will also be in this video. It will be fast forwarded, of course, because I, want, I don't want this to be a 20 minute long video like it ended up being when I recorded it. Um, but I will fast forward through all that. So, anyways, we're still picking up gold bars. I was able to talk to you quite a bit while we're still picking up gold bars. And there you go. We just hit our max of 30. And so I will go ahead and speed this video up really hardcore up until we see the fence. So I'll be back with you guys here in a second. Alright, so I went ahead and fast forwarded this up times 10. Uh, I cut the sound out because when it gets that fast, it's just like high-pitched squeaking noises like chipmunks or something. I don't know. It's horrible, and it just hurt my ears just uh, setting it up. So I went ahead and cut that sound out. Um, as you can see, I just keep falling and stuff because I'm kind of dumb, I guess. I was just in a really big hurry to try to make this as small as possible, and then I just got messed up by the mission being there. Um... So you will see the lion. The lion is part of a little side mission for a guy who is dressed as a woman, and he is a sideshow. So you meet the sideshow characters, and you start to do the side, uh, the sideshow missions, and eventually they will ask you to go get their lion, which you end up having to kill the lion, and you get to get, take its paw as a trophy. Alright, so we're back in real speed. Hopefully you guys found that last minute to be funny, more than anything, watching me fall and stuff, and uh, having to kill that lion and whatnot. Um, like I said in the beginning, I wanted to show you guys this 100% legitimately, which meant to me that there was no clipping. So we've made it here to the fence, we did that mission, had to leave, had to come back, there's the fence. 
Okay. Um, as you can see, the top there, I have one gold igot. That's just from what I found earlier in the game. If you go ahead and go down to the bottom of my list, you can see the 30 gold bars there itself, 500 each. Hold down that Y button, hit sell all. Yep, Boom, $15,000. Um, pretty ridiculous, to be honest. Uh, I don't need anywhere near that much money. So just to uh, show that you can do this more than one time, as long as you've done everything correctly, we are going to fast travel 10 times speed back over there right now, and then I will show you guys how to set it up for the second time. Alright, but now that we're back in the sheriff's office, you can go over to the loot box there, and you can see the gold bar is still there, the pamphlet is gone. Uh, bend down, hit take, and as soon as you're bent over, press start again. Of course, go back to story, and then we're going to want to make a new save. So go ahead and just save the game. Uh, make a new save. I made a secondary save over that first one, just in case um, something messed up, because I didn't have any other save. So just to be careful, you know, don't delete your autosave and keep that backup one until you're done and then go ahead and flip autosave back on and then you can turn off your other ones if you wanted to. So alright, I just had to check the time there real quick just to make sure um, that I was picking the right save of course because they're all in a pretty similar time. So as last time, it's going to load us to a place very similar and we're going to have to run all the way back to the gold bars. Alright, so now that we're back over here by these gold bars, as you see the bar is there, we're going to do the same thing as last time. We're going to walk up to it and we're going to hit the take and just hold it down. And you can do this once again up to 30 times. Um, so I'm not going to show you guys me going to sell these again. Um, I was just holding on to them until I eventually run back into the fence, which is what I plan to do anyways. I have no need for $30,000. I actually took the $30,000, went ahead and spent a bunch of money just to get the achievement. Um, so you can do that for the achievement for spending $5,000. Um, but it's, it's useful because I was able to buy all the guns, pimp them all out, which gave me another achievement for buying all the little side stuff. And then I was able to buy everything for the camp and, and all that. So having the money is pretty useful. Uh, a lot of people are complaining because it's ruining the game for them. But personally, I don't care. It saves me the hassle from having to deal with everything else and allows me to focus more on what I'm enjoying about the game, which is exploring around and hunting and stuff like that. Um, I do like doing the missions, but I haven't done a whole lot of them. I am getting really annoyed at Miss Grimshaw, who every time I go back to the camp is like, you're not donating enough money. So, with this, I'm able to give money here and there whenever I go back, and I don't have to listen to people of the camp constantly complaining that I'm not pulling enough money from playing, I guess, legitimately or whatever. But, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully, you liked this guide. Hopefully, you found it useful. Hopefully, you were happy with the fact that I didn't clip anything out, which is what I've been seeing a lot of. It made me skeptical when I looked at other YouTube videos about it. That's why I left everything in there. Fast forwarded just so you knew it was all one thing. I took the gold bars from there. It had none to begin with. And uh, I was able to do it multiple times. So I did it twice, but you can do it as many times as you want as long as you just leave the setup the same and redo that. So as always, if you found this useful, uh, then feel free to like and comment down below. Subscribe if you want to see more. We will be doing a lot more Red Dead Redemption stuff. Um, I'm really into this game right now. So, I'll see you guys next time.